First up, I need to make it clear that this video is sponsored by Cyberpower and AMD. We're going to be taking a look at this, the Ultra 9 Gaming PC, which is one of the best all AMD systems money can buy right now, and for good reason. It's rocking a Ryzen 9 5900X and the behemoth that is the 6900 XT. One of the most sought after and impressive graphics cards on the market right now is here and I get to have a play with it, so let's do just that. So I thought I would start us off with a game that everybody has been talking about, everybody I know has been playing, and is incredibly difficult to run and so should be a good challenge for the 6900 XT we have in here. Cyberpunk is an incredibly visually impressive game, even has ray tracing, which you can turn on with these new GPUs, but it also has one new feature specific to AMD, part of their GPU open library, called Fidelity FX CAS, or Contrast Adaptive Sharpening. What CAS does is kind of two things. One, it lets your GPU render at a lower resolution than your monitor, and then it upscales and sharpens the image so that you get more performance, but you don't lose any visual fidelity. In Cyberpunk, there are two kinds. Static, which is where you just set a fixed render scale. So if you were to set it to 90%, you're only losing 10% of the sort of size of the screen, but you're also uh, dropping about 20% the number of total pixels. Or if you don't fancy doing it static and you want to have it as a more dynamic, you can use, well, dynamic, you can set an FPS target, uh, you can set the minimum resolution, so say in really intensive or difficult to render areas, it could uh, you know, render down to 85% of your screen's resolution so that it can try and reach the target FPS of, in this case, we'd probably say like 120 is probably fair for Cyberpunk, at least for the moment anyway, and therefore you get a constant or as close to constant 120 FPS as you can while still having a pretty nice visual experience. Now in this case, because we're going to be stressing out and showing you just how impressive the 6900 XT is, I'm going to leave that off and we're going to leave everything else at pretty much ultra settings and jump into the game. So we're in Cyberpunk and running around downtown and remarkably we're still getting like 80 FPS, even downtown, even with all of the pedestrians and cars that are about, which is more than I've seen pretty much ever, so massive thumbs up there. It's incredibly smooth, even at 80 odd FPS, and of course if you wanted to make use of, say, a higher fresh monitor like this one, maybe a bit better than 80 FPS, you can always turn the settings down a little bit, or use uh, Fidelity, uh, Fidelity FX CAS instead. Either way, let's uh, let's jump in a car and uh, drive around the city. Maybe if we can find one of those, um, you know, crime things that you can interrupt, Perdona, then we can uh, we can take a look. I'm gonna have to GTA this car though. Apologies. What I can't believe is how incredibly quiet this is while I'm gaming. I'm playing Cyberpunk at 1440p at you know 80, 90 FPS and I can barely hear the system. That's incredibly impressive, and you would normally expect to, you know, see the GPU, uh, hear the GPU, but uh, yeah, not not now. Yeah, right, let's, um, oh, okay, she took a shotgun to the face and didn't die. That's interesting. And what about you? Oh, it's reload. Oh, I forgot the button for hit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, where's the... Right, reload. I'm just gonna... Okay, where's the... Oh yeah, I have this pistol from the mission. Uh... Right. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Right. Come on, come on. Okay. So, you can tell this is an incredibly impressive system if it can, like I said, play Cyberpunk at any more than like 10 FPS, so... Um, that's decent. What about if we try uh, a more regular game that you might have played, like COD Modern Warfare? Now while we wait for COD to compile the shaders, because of course you need to, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the system. It's a Ryzen 9 5900X paired with a 6900XT. We have 16 gigs of RAM, we have a Gen 4 Seagate uh, M.2 SSD and a two terabyte hard drive to go with it as well. Of course, a 240 mil AIO and plenty of RGB as you can see. 
Now this system is configurable on a server per site. So if you wanted to upgrade, say throw in some more RAM for more productivity work or go with a 5800 or 5950X instead, all of those things are possible. And there's also one other benefit for going all AMD for both your CPU and your graphics card, which is AMD's new feature, Smart Access Memory or SAM. It's based on the resizable bar support that's available in B550 and X570 motherboards at the moment, and uh, a load of driver and software tweaks to, to make it work pretty well. What that means is that it gets you uh, anywhere between two and 5% more performance on average, or in select games, up to 10 to 15% more performance as well. The way it works is it lets your CPU directly access all of your graphics card's memory instead of small chunks at a time, which helps load different textures and assets in, and so the GPU can get on rendering just that little bit faster and again, get you more performance. I should also mention that if you are using a Radeon graphics card, of course you get access to the Radeon drivers, which actually have a load of features you're probably interested in. You have the stuff that's been around for a little while, like Radeon Anti-Lag, which I've actually tested and worked really well. There's Radeon Chill, which lets you reduce power consumption while not affecting your gaming experience. Uh, even Radeon Image Sharpening, Hand Sync, a load of stuff you can check out. But the impressive thing is that if you go to performance and tuning, well, you can go to rage mode, which is the new mode for these new graphics cards for the 68 and 6900 XTs. And, or you can also just use their standard automatic overclocking feature, which is incredible to see built into the driver. Or you can even undervolt the GPU if you want to save a bit of power instead. Right, so we're in Cold Modern Warfare, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're getting 240 FPS at 1440p. Like, this is on basically maxed out settings minus ray tracing, and it is, it's incredibly smooth. I, I don't think I've ever played COD uh, or COD Modern Warfare this smoothly and this quickly. I, I'm genuinely blown away. Um, so yeah, getting 246 FPS right now. That is incredible. Incredible. It feels so fast. It feels so fluid. I'm playing on 165 Hz monitor, which definitely helps. And like I said, this is at 1440p. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. This is very nice. I would like to say that it helps, you know, my game sense and my aim, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be lying to you. I'm still terrible. <laughs> okay, I can get. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't even a sniper, it was an Odin. I got one shot by an Odin. Let me up. Uh. Oh, cool. I, I didn't see him. And the thing that I can't get over is that I'm actually recording the screen with the Radeon driver, or the Radeon Relive, and it is like, I'm still getting 230, 240 FPS. Like that's how impressive especially this gpu is it's just it's incredible come on calm up oh. <laughs> what about you oh no i missed Quick stab him got a knife hello yes right good yeah i can't believe that that's that's incredible and finally, I thought I would show off a game that is actually an AMD title directly, which is Dirt 5. This has a number of the Fidelity FX platform and the suite of tools built into it, including vari variable rate shading. It also has the uh, cast system we've already talked about and a few other things as well. Now we're playing this uh, again at 1440p uh, with basically on ultra, in fact not basically, actually on ultra high settings and we're still getting 100 FPS while we're drifting around this corner. Now I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse, I would normally play with a wheel but for the sake of, um, well mostly noise because racing wheels don't tend to be all that quiet, um, I'm going to leave it as this for now. And oh, I very much overshot that corner. Um, yeah, it's a really nice experience. It looks really good, of course, being 1440p, it's nice and crisp. Um, and like I said, we're still getting 100 FPS while drifting around these corners. So I'm a, I'm a very happy gamer at this point. Oh, bridge jump, sweet. Kind of sad that we didn't get, you know, one of those action camera shots for that, but you know, I'll, I'll take it. Now, despite running a game at 1440p at ultra settings, 
you can still barely hear the system. The fans have ramped up a little bit considering I've been gaming on it for the last hour or two film filming all of this, but considering that this is, you know, a 6900 XT uh, and a 5900 uh, 5, X, well that's pretty impressive, right? Now if gaming wasn't enough of a, a clue that this is an incredibly impressive system, well, I thought we should test out the 5900X CPU that's in here as well. So we're in Blender and I'm rendering the, the BMW test scene, the, the 1M I think it is, um, that we tend to, to use for this sort of thing anyway. Either way, this test, or this render normally takes a, a, an average machine, what, well, three, four, five minutes to do depending on the CPU. But in this CPU's case, well, it's only going to take about two minutes flat, and that's because I am recording the screen. If I wasn't, it would be a sub two minute render, which is incredibly impressive. And bearing in mind, you could option this up to the 5950X instead. Well, yeah, it just it just gets insane. And the fact that, again, I can barely hear the system while it's rendering, and I know that it's only drawing about 130 to 140 watts of power from the CPU, well, again, that's just incredibly impressive for the, the performance that you get out of it. Now, if Blender didn't convince you that this is a very good system for both gaming and productivity, I hope Premiere will. Now, I've got some 4K clips that I recorded with my GH5, and we're playing them back at full render re resolution, which means we're watching them in 4K, and, well, it plays back perfectly fine. We can, you know, skip around our, uh, what's it called? scrub around the timeline, that's the word, uh, with no problems, and you can even see my uh, my plenty confused and um, uh, unhappy, <laughs> god that's a face, um, face uh, in the clips, it works incredibly well, and we could render this out in a couple of minutes, even though this is a 10 minute sequence, so again, very, very impressive. So if you're after an incredibly powerful system that has some nice benefits from going all team red, then check this one out at the link in the description below. One of the nice things about buying from CyberPower is that you can customize it to how you want to use it. If you want to focus on specifically gaming, then you could say throw in some more storage for all of the incredibly large games that are out these days, maybe throw in a 58 or 5600X instead, maybe a little bit more RAM, or if you want to go more CPU heavy workloads, then you could upgrade to the 5950X and go all in, again throw some more RAM in there, maybe some more storage if you're doing a lot of 3D modeling or game developments. There's a lot that you can customize and tweak how you want. So again, check out in the link in the description below. And once again, thank you to CyberPower and AMD for sponsoring this video. They help make these videos and just generally the channel a viable option for me to do every day. So thank you to them and thank you to you guys for sticking around and watching. I would love to know your thoughts on the all AMD system in the comments down below. Is this a configuration you do yourself or is this specific one maybe a little bit too high end? Feel free to let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Otherwise, feel free to check out some more videos on the end cards as usual. Um, otherwise, also if you're interested in car videos, I've got a full channel on that, so feel free to take a look. But otherwise, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next video.